When using a GoPro in its enclosed waterproof case, users sacrifice optimal audio capture. While the skeleton housing or the frame mount help by keeping the microphones clear and open, add any kind of motion and the wind noise overtakes and again the result is poor audio capture. While we can use the GoPro 3.5mm audio cable to convert the mini USB to a 3.5mm audio jack for microphone attachment, we introduce adapters, cables and clutter into the setup. Seen have addressed this issue with a brand new GoPro attachment. Welcome to Ifty's Tech Corner where today we'll be looking at the Sina Bluetooth pack for GoPro. Currently, the only way to externally record audio into the GoPro cameras is to use a wired microphone that attaches to the camera. Not the neatest setup and can become rather limiting. The Sina Bluetooth audio pack for GoPro provides the same audio feature wirelessly using Bluetooth 3 technology. Being a specially designed adapter for the GoPro, with the use of a Bluetooth enabled headset users are able to add their voice to the video on the fly. With the use of Sina specific Bluetooth headsets, users can add not only their own voice but also audio from other companions through the use of an intercom setup, in effect adding multiple users audio to the single video stream. All sounds pretty impressive so far, let's take a closer look. Within the package we receive a user manual, a mount very similar to the GoPro frame which allows mounting of the GoPro camera with the Bluetooth pack attached, the actual Bluetooth pack itself, and finally a USB adapter. The actual Bluetooth pack itself is the exact same size as any typical GoPro battery or LCD backpack, sporting some nice clear Sina and Bluetooth branding. This side of the unit houses the main power switch as well as the mic switch. This mic switch toggles the internal stereo microphone on or off, so users are able to record ambient sound along with audio through the Bluetooth headset at the same time, a very nice feature in addition. Finally, we have a status LED along with a pairing button, which we'll take a closer look at shortly. On the side of the pack, we have a stereo microphone, which is duplicated on the opposite side. As stated, these can be switched on or off using the rear microphone switch. Also on this side is a very small charging LED, along with two micro USB ports. The top port is used for charging and applying firmware updates, while the bottom is used for audio capture. On the rear we have a small reset button within a pinhole along with the standard GoPro hinge and connector. Notice how the connector is blank, it does not interface with the GoPro through the GoPro proprietary port whatsoever. The audio is still fed into the GoPro through the side USB port with the help of the included small USB coupling adapter. The adapter itself is slightly raised on one side so it can fit snugly into the GoPro port which is slightly recessed. Otherwise, it's a straightforward USB to USB extender. Finally, we have a frame mount. Very similar to the first generation GoPro frame, it has a soft touch feel with the same high level of flexibility. Each side has holes for the GoPro recording LEDs, as well as a hole for the shutter button, a flexible Wi-Fi button, holes on either side for the built-in microphones within the Bluetooth pack itself, and finally the charging LED and USB port. Also note how the mount extends on one side to cater for the USB adapter, which we'll take a look at shortly. A waterproof housing is also available as a separate purchase. The Sina Bluetooth pack attaches just like any other backpack and holds nice and firm. Once in place, since the pack does not interface with the GoPro via its rear port, we use the included adapter to connect the pack to the GoPro USB port. What we have now is the Bluetooth pack collecting the audio, which is then passed through the USB adapter into the GoPro. Note that while users are unable to connect any other backpack to the GoPro, the Bluetooth pack has its own internal battery. In other words, it does not use any of the GoPro's battery whatsoever. The Bluetooth pack's battery can be charged using a standard GoPro USB cable connected to the top charging USB port. Due to the side USB adapter, users are now unable to use any of the standard GoPro housings. Hence why the included frame mount has this side extension. It fits snugly around the entire unit, giving the ability to now mount the unit using the standard GoPro mounts and accessories. As we can see, all required lights and ports are left exposed and accessible. When connected to a GoPro in this way, the top charging USB port is still accessible, giving users the ability to connect and charge even with an external portable charger in order to record while in use. 
the charging LED lights red to indicate charging and blue when it is fully charged. What's even more impressive is that this will not only keep the Bluetooth pack charged, the USB adapter also supplies power across to the GoPro itself. So in effect we are now charging both the Bluetooth pack and the GoPro itself through the one cable, a fantastic feature. Sliding the power switch down will switch the Bluetooth pack on and the LEDs blink a few times to indicate the battery level remaining. By keeping the pairing button pressed for 5 seconds the status LED blinks red and blue indicating the Bluetooth pack is now in pairing mode. Although I'm using a Cena Expand headset, users are able to pair any Bluetooth compatible audio device no matter which manufacturer it's from. Simply place your chosen headset into pairing mode and the connection will be established without any further button presses. One advantage to using the Cena Expand headset is it gives the ability to enter intercom mode. This gives the ability to connect up to three other headsets to this Expand headset and the audio from all four units will be fed through to the GoPro in order to record conversations to the one GoPro unit. Pretty impressive. With the unit switched on and the Bluetooth headset successfully paired, the Bluetooth pack will supply a constant stream of audio to the GoPro itself through the USB adapter. The audio you hear at the moment is actually being recorded through the Bluetooth audio pack and the Sienna headset which is paired. The headset is obviously being worn inside the vehicle while the GoPro itself is on the outside of the vehicle there. Hopefully we should notice that there's no wind noise whatsoever and we should just be getting my clear speech. Switching the built-in stereo microphones on allow the user to record ambient noise alongside audio capture from the headset. By switching this on we should be able to hear noise through the stereo microphones built into the GoPro audio pack. In this case we should be getting some wind noise while still hearing my voice alongside very useful for recording ambient noise around the camera itself while still capturing your own voice, hopefully with decent clarity. Again, setting the mic switch to off, we eliminate noise around the camera itself and we are back to normal clear audio recording through the headset alone. Considering the Bluetooth range extends to around 100 meters, this gives the user some great flexibility in capturing some nice clear audio commentary or any other audio capture from a Bluetooth enabled microphone. The flexibility offered by this seemingly simple unit is certainly more than enough to justify its cost several times over. The ability to pass through charging to the GoPro as well as the Bluetooth pack is a great touch. Meaning with the use of a portable charger, users are able to keep recording for longer no matter where they are. Cena again add even more flexibility with the ability to record ambient noise with the built-in stereo microphones, or even capture multiple audio streams using the intercom features built into their Expand headset. If you are looking for a way to record external audio without the inconvenience of a microphone cable, this is the best solution I have come across to date. The options it provides coupled with the high quality audio capture make it a very easy accessory to fully recommend.